I Please just note, go back. This session is being recorded. Yeah, so far in our you know sessions, we have covered uh, some basic charts, different type of connectivity. Now, when I say basic charts, basically the simple show me options, some of the so show me options, and some of the dual access charts, whether it is bar, dual chart, donut, candlestick. Not stick, I would say here, but yes, candle chart, heat map, bubble. So uh, out of these, uh, did you guys try to kind of, you know, create these on uh, by your own? Did you do practice over it? Yes, sir. Yeah. OK. What about you, Bayo? No, no. But OK. I'll do that uh, so far as we can because yeah, of my please. job. All right, but yes, I would say like just just give hardly you know thirty minutes a day. I think that would be enough uh, to go over these because once you will try right, you will definitely come across some questions, and okay. uh, that would be the you know kind of point wherein we can clarify those things and it would be very clear as you go forward. So, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and in kind of you know I'll cover some uh, other topics today. Uh, including few of the visualizations, so let's uh, let's go ahead. I hope everyone must have heard about Pareto chart, right? What Pareto chart is? Smriti, any idea? No. Yeah, I heard it somewhere, but uh, I'm not getting it right now. Okay. If not Pareto chart, uh, you must have heard about 80-20 rule. Uh, I mean, it is like the combination of both uh, bar chart and line chart, right? That's, yeah, that's that, that, is, that is true. That is true. Okay. Yeah, yeah there is some is other logic about it, actually. I, I forgot. Right. So basically in quality um, operations, right, it is being said that if you solve 20% of the problems, right, they will automatically solve remaining 80. Or yeah. in, other, in other words, uh, generally 20% of the problems are the main reason of other 80% of the problems. So if you just work on top 20 uh, problems, which have the maximum population, you would be able to solve other 80 automatically. Right, that's a rule what we follow, not only in quality, but generally everywhere in all the businesses, right? Like if you just focus on top 20 customers, other 80%, the small customers will automatically come there, right? So whether it is marketing, quality, I mean, many domains, this rule is being followed. And uh, the same thing we do, I mean, the same thing can be represented by Pareto chart here. Like we can identify our those top 20, top 25, whatever we want. Them. So we'll show a curve chart, wherein we'll show those top 20 top 30 and basis that you can focus on those so that remaining others will automatically come aligned so we are just going to plot that particular chart and uh, yeah smriti as you said it's a combination of bar and line chart so that is true we'll go ahead and create one particular chart so maybe let me take profit I'll say like, let's focus on top 20 products where we are getting a lot of profit. Okay. So we can continue. We created one chart. Okay. This one. Some and uh, we created this chart, right? We'll continue from there only. Well, or let me create it from scratch. I'll just drag profit first of all here. And then I'll take this profit once again. Here we go. And I'll drag products so that I would know like what are those products wherein we are making maximum profit or the company is making maximum profit. So we'll drag product name. Product name is here. As soon as we drop it here, you'll see uh, this particular line. But yeah, the problem over here is like you have huge number of product, 
so that might be a little problem because in order to show the complete one it will be a very big uh, plot uh, yeah plot uh, let me just replace this with the i think i'll try with states like what are the states where we are making good profit because states will be 50 yep a little better so i'll just go ahead with it so what we see here we are able to see our profit by different states right in both the axes what i'll do first of all i'll make it as dual chart on primary axis i will keep it as bars and on the secondary axis i will keep it as line right now as i said according to the rule of 80 20 we need to focus on top 20 or top 80 which means i need to sort my data right so i will sort my data and then see that what kind of curve it comes so for that i'll just go ahead and sort this out okay fine so now now over here you can see that the primary access i have just sorted my data so what is happening i have the maximum profit far left and then as we go towards right i have you know the profit is reducing as at some point it will become zero and then it's going towards the negative right but in order to create pareto chart you need to have a cumulative sum now if i ask you that what is cumulative sum any idea about cumulative sum uh, cumulative total is something like when we keep on adding it is like the total sum of all individual items irrespective of uh, right. dimension right 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 or in other words you can say running total running total yeah right so on the secondary axis i'm going to apply that logic the second uh, yeah on the secondary axis i'm going to apply that logic will be known as running total or cumulative sum for that i will introduce another concept called table calculations right table calculations are the calculations which will be applicable to this view only right what i meant in order to introduce new calculation there are two ways one way is you can create a calculated field apply your formula in there and that field will get added here in your measures that's when one way of adding calculations in your data calculate and the second calculation what which we are talking about table calculations this table calculation will be applicable to this particular chart visualization table whatever is there on this data sheet here right it will not be shown into this data this measure list here right which means we are not adding any new field the only thing is we are customizing our calculation for this view purpose only okay so having said that i'll just select the secondary axis and this was the profit which i had on my secondary axis so i'll just go ahead and click on add table calculation once you select it you will get another pop-up like this and over here it is very important to understand that what these different features or different options are there for okay so uh, did we get this to this tab double calculation from the sum of profit column or it is from the right side i mean from the second axis yeah it is for the second axis right now i'm doing it for second axis you can, uh, I mean, whichever field you need to apply this on, you can select that and then you can uh, click on it so that you, you will get it. I know like okay. here, if you see uh, this profit is only for, you know, the left one, the primary axis, and this is for the secondary one. So that's why okay. I went ahead and clicked on it. And then I got this table calculation option, right? Yeah. Another way of identifying in already built uh, visualization whether it's a calculated 
sorry, table calculation or not, you will see this triangle icon over it. Mm. Okay. If any field or any measure, any card has this triangle option, which means it is a table calculation. Fine. You can see that, that here also. So I'll just go ahead and edit this once again because I have not, uh, I didn't do anything. Yeah. So over here you have different options and you would need to understand all of them so that you can better use it as and when it is required. So first of all, if you see here, we have difference from difference, sorry, percentage difference from percentage from percentage of total rank percentile running total moving calculation. And accordingly, you will see some other option depending on what you select here. So if I say, let's say select percentage of total, you will get some other options. If I say, if I select running total, you might see some other options, right? There is some difference. So as soon as I, as I, as I selected running total, table across, cell or a specific dimension, three options are there. Right now I will select table across only and I'll talk in detail what is the meaning of table across and cells. So as soon as we selected table across, now you'll see that this row, the trend basically, it's kind of formed a curve shape, right? It is starting from here and going up continuously, which means it's kind of, you know, adding the individual values and it's plotting that here. So as you go far, far right, it will start coming down because here my negative values have started. Right now, if I say the actual meaning of actual meaning of Pareto chart, which means we said like we can focus on 80, 20 rule. So now if you add a reference line over it and come here, let me, okay, this is the line. And you can show the computation. So basically it is doing the average. You can go for some other values also. Average total, or if you go for band, no band is not required. Maybe from here, you can show a band of 80, 20, or look over here as well. The, the line where it basically cuts this curve. Okay, so that will be your primary focus. Now over here, it's doing it by average. Entire table. Okay, in, in quality projects, basically what happens on this particular curve, at 80%, you just drag this particular line so that you would know like under this point, all the items which are coming are your top priority, right? Wherever this line is basically intersecting this curve, under that point, whatever elements are coming are of your top priority. So if you focus only on, on these, you will be able to improve your profit way extent or on high level. Because after this, if you see, your profit is again going, started going down, right? So in order to sustain your business, if you just focus on these, you'll be able to make, uh, you'll be able to cover whatever is going loss or not performing well in order to sustain, right? But yes, if you want further improvement, definitely you will have to kind of focus on individual items so that you can improve the sales in those individual states, right? So far it is clear. I mean, what all we have done in order to create it. Um, say that reference line, it is coming by default or do we have set it somewhere at certain percentage? No. Can we increase or decrease? No, 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 right now it is coming by default. If you go here, what it is doing, it is taking the average of the total profit. Okay, you have these many values like some constant, minimum, maximum and average. So it is doing that. You can do it on median also. Okay. And let's say if you want to do it by some other field, for example, right now profit is there. If you want to do it by sales, you can do that also. 
Any idea how do you do it? Hmm? Um, first, we have to bring in that sales right in, in this chart, then only. Right. You need to bring that field. Uh, for example, let's say if you want to plot it by sales, you need to bring that sales onto details. And then if you go here, edit reference line, you would be able to see that sales. And basic sales, then you can implement maybe some total or average, whichever you want to apply, minimum, maximum, you can do that. So, right, it will appear here like this. So the 8020 rule which we are talking about, I mean, how this graph is helping us to do that analysis. Okay. So basically, when I when we say 8020, we are talking about uh, just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. When we say 8020, basically in quality projects, we intersect this dry, uh, this curve line at a point under which we get our 20 percent 20 percent of high performing element. Okay, for example, let's say if I, this was the point, right? This, so if we cover these points, if you focus only on these points, they should be covering our, you know, minimum of, uh, I think it is more than 20% here because we have only 50 elements. If you just focus on only 20%, this line is basically right now, it is by average, but you need to draw this line on 20% of your data top 20% of your data. Okay. Are you understanding the analogy? Yes, okay. Right. This point should cover your 20% of high performing elements. That's a kind of a you know, requirement. And because for representation, we just draw this line to show that these are my high performing elements. I need to focus on these so that I can sustain my business. Okay, that's the concept. It is not fixed always, you know, 20%. It is 20. We call it 20, uh, 80 20 rule because it is uh, kind of, you know, it was given by some person, right? But again, it is applied everywhere in most of the businesses, most of the strategies, it is being used. And that that is being represented by this chart on Pareto. Okay, now over here you can change the colors to look it better. The rest of the things will remain same in case you want to show labels and all, you can show that. Okay. Now, let's talk about further on table calculations. So this time I'm going to take my subcategory and then profit and we'll add one more field, maybe segment. Okay, let me drag categories also. Okay, so over here I have some of profit, right? Now let me introduce this another field, uh, profit, but okay, it's already there. It's not taking. Maybe yeah, this uh, this is the sales. So what I am I want to do it. I will basically go ahead and create table calculation or add table calculation for sales. And then you see and tell me that what exactly it shows. Now you can see like we have got many options here. First of all, if we say, let's say percentage of total or sorry, uh, let me take it with one field at a time so that it will be clear. Okay. 
before i get into the calculation let me tell you this total area will be known as table one table right now under this what if i select one value this will be known as cell if i select this particular area this will be one pane right or this is one pane or this is one pane so there are three panes in this particular cross table other than this if i go on a row it will be known as a cross like table across and if i select my columns like this it will be known as down table down so these are the options which you get while adding this table calculation here for example you can see table across table down table across and then down so basically table across and then down would be you first of all go this side and then you apply your calculation towards the down so that is how you know these different options work now i'll edit it again pane down so in one particular segment you will go down pane cell will be an individual cell and a specific dimension will be like basis which field you want to dimension you want to apply this condition okay so these are the different things which you need to know now i'll just select first of all let's say percentage of total it will help you to know how basically you can apply across down or table things first of all let me remove the table calculation clear so these are my original values fine these are my original values now if i go ahead and say add table calculation and i say running total and maybe cell you will get the exact value what you had earlier right because what it is doing on an individual cell whatever value you are getting it is adding that only so for an for an individual cell there would be no change right you will get exactly the same value but but as you go towards table across so what would happen from left to right so as soon as you do it running total it will keep adding these values let me check is it correct yeah so it will keep adding your values towards the right as you go so what it is doing it will add your uh, consumer segment value plus corporate segment value and then home office so that's why you are getting this uh, because my, my maximum number was negative so it is showing the negative sign only but if you just look into the cell you will see like this was the actual value and then this was the actual value under home office so if you add all three you'll kind of get these type of values if you do the table down you will see as we go towards down it's keep adding the values if you look on a particular pane if you look on a particular pane you will see these are the values it is kind of adding towards the down for each pane it will restart and it will show you those values cross and sorry pain across and down so the first for first one you are getting blank because it will not do anything for it right it will start as we go towards down now what i have done depending on a specific dimension we are going to change it so like category segment or subcategory this is any particular dimension you can base your calculation so category was this column right so it will look into my particular category and then it will apply this 
this particular calculation what we have done what is running total okay if i select segment on a segment level it will go and do that same calculation subcategory so on a particular category it will add subcategory is this like so bookcases is one category chairs is another category furniture is furnishing is another category okay uh, i want to see the difference like as soon as i select what happens and what is the logic behind it smriti and bhai it is like uh, aggregating at different levels exactly yeah. it's a aggregation only because see this if i'm doing the running total it's aggregation you can go for the difference also or you can go for the percentage also so if i say percentage and select a particular cell you will see the 100% everywhere but if you say table across so on a particular row you will get 100% on a particular row you will get 100% which means if you add all three values you will get 100% if you add all three you will get 100% right if you do table down for this particular column you will get 100% it is table down if you do pane so on this particular area if you add everything you will get 100% same goes with this if you select this complete area you will get 100% see i'm talking in the terms what we see here but if you talk about business language it will say all the sub categories have been divided into percentage on this particular category level so under office supplies whatever categories we are getting we can show the percentage of their individual percentage in this table for technology all the sub categories we have divided that what is the profit percentage we are getting from sub categories under technology category so we can say under technology the most or maximum contributor is copiers under consumer section right this is under technology if i have selected pane if i select table for example like uh, yeah like this then the total of complete table will be 100 and in this case which one is the maximum i think 8.41 yeah right yeah this is the maximum again copier is the maximum if we look into all the segments and all the categories right but cell is uh, cell doesn't mean anything we can it's individual con uh, individual contributor contribution um again the same thing can be done like over a segment segment means this which one is doing better so we can you know look from different different angles the different calculations right i can give you one more use case here first of all first of all just let me know i mean whether whether it is making some sense it will be confusing uh, because there are number of directions number of angles here it will be little confusing but as in when you start working it will be very clear i'll give you one more use case of the stable calculation then it will be clear any questions by yeah i'm fine okay okay fine so now uh, let me create one bar plot for these different uh, states maybe uh, let me drop a segment here better would be if i drop related field let's say region 
and then I can drop state and then let me drop profit and we'll show like this okay we worked on filters right like how to show top 10 top 5 all that Let me sort this data. Okay, so over here, if you see, you can see the order of states by profit under each region. If it is central region, you can see like this. If it is east, you can see like this. If it is south this is the view and if it is west this is the view right now there is a problem statement i want to see top five states by profit in each region how should i do that Top five states per region by profit. You uh, you take states to uh, the fetal. Uh, by could you please repeat that? Top five state by region. Mm -hmm. You drag you drag state to filters. Yep. You go to top by field. Mm -hmm. Then you put six. You take so sorry, sorry, put five. Yeah. Our profits. Top five state by region. That's it. what it is doing it's showing me this the five records and uh, under west region i'm getting two south one east one central one but what i wanted top five states per region by profit top five states per region Two five states per region by profit. I know you use the fetal option. Maybe I'm not getting it rightly. Yep, yep. I mean, uh, the basic approach what you just said, it is correct, but it's not giving me what is required, right? So we need to kind of. Five states the way uh okay where is that? Top five state. Let's go back to the filters, let's see again. Edit filter. Mm -hmm. Let's change some. Look, let's see some. Top five states per region. Should we count? Count. Um, profit is a measure, right? So counting will, will not be good, actually. So okay, what when is the measure you don't use count? 
See, a count is generally used with uh, you know um, a measure which is discrete in nature. Over there, count will be good. But if it is kind of you know a continuous field, then count is uh, not a applica. I mean, good measure or aggregation to do. In case again, it depends on the business requirement. So that's a separate thing. So over here. We'll take some only. That is for sure. But we need to do some other arrangements also. Okay. Do mm -hmm. we show Fita? Let's show Fita. Okay. Wait. Show Fita. My field. Okay, we should be sharing five states. It's a state only, we have taken five, so which means it will show top five. Mm -hmm. right. But we need to identify a way so that we can show you know, in each region. Okay. Okay. So five step. Do we fit our region again? Don't fit our region. Smithy, you can also, you know, contribute here. Uh, yeah, so just one doubt actually. Um, mm -hmm. When usually we do this uh, closing statement, right? Like top five states per region by per. So, what we do? We do aggregation on profit, and do a group by on uh, the states and region uh, collectively. And then we try to rank the top five, and that is how we solve it in SQL. Uh, and any other problem in them. So here, I'm uh, just trying to understand where we're grouping it by, who are writing it. I mean, somewhere down the line, table will be doing the same thing. Yeah, exactly. See, basic calculation and method will be same, whether it is SQL Server, W, or any tool. Right. So thinking on the same lines, uh, you said rank. OK, that's a one hint towards it. We can go for rank. Uh, then other would be like, on particular, I mean, we need to group that by region. So grouping was possible in table calculations, right? So over here, we are going to handle more than, you know, two, three topics, basically. One is table calculation, one is calculated field, and of course, rank and sorting. OK, so uh, yeah, uh, Bio, let's, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll create one calculated field because we will rank all these states in individual regions first of all so that we would know which region i'm uh, sorry which states are top five under a particular region so we'll go ahead create a calculated field and i will call it rank only rank formula is simple rank see like sql we have different other types also here dense rank modified percentile and unique yeah. so i'll just select rank and then as soon as you do it you will see the example right here as i mentioned yesterday so you can you know take a look of the example also that how you can apply rank so what i want to do is i want to apply rank basis sum of sum profit. Of profit. yeah so i'll say sum of profit and then how would i want to show it either in ascending or descending manner so let's say ascending i mean we can select any of those right now so we want to show top right yeah so that's fine let's do descending okay but if you don't specify it will take uh, ascending by default right? yeah yeah if you don't specify is specify it will by default will take uh, ascending now, if you see, as soon as I just clicked on apply, 
I have got this pop up. The results are computed along the table across, which means rank is by default a table calculation. Because looking into your data sheet over here, right, you cannot rank it properly. See, uh, where is the rank field? Okay, it's not showing here, maybe because rank is always, you know, applied over a fee, over a table, right? Table or whatever the visualization we create. Because we can, you know, sort it, we can apply filters, so that will be applicable here only. Now, now what I would do, I'll just drag this rank field onto my visualization, right? But but the problem but the problem is as soon as i drag this rank over here you can see it has created visualization that i don't want right now another question over here is i don't want to treat rank or i don't want to take rank for visualization how can I avoid the, avoid that? Then that too, it is ranking the regions. No, we wanted to do it at state level. Mm -hmm. Right. So anything which appears here under measures, right? As soon as we drag, okay, let me just add one more sheet here. Anything if we take from dimensions, and then if you take anything from here, right? It is going to create visualization or in a table it will come under this side or it will create visualization that is for sure right but my my requirement is i don't want to create visualization basis this rank field how can we avoid that i want to take this as dimension Think, guys, how can we do that? There is a numerical field, but I don't want to use it as measure. I want to use it as dimension. And we can change the type. We told us earlier, right? We can change. Okay, let me remove it from here. I'll go ahead. Now let me know what should I do. Change the data type. Then not the data type. Mm -hmm. Oh, the string. Can we just drag and drop it to the dimension area? <laughs> yeah. So bio to answer you, we can definitely change it to string, but in that case. Our logic of you know uh, sorting, doing descending and ascending will not work because then it will treat it as a string, right? So we cannot change it into a string. Let me do what uh, Smriti is saying. I'll drag it to dimensions. Nothing happened. I mean, I'm trying to drag it here. See, I'm getting that stop icon. It's not letting me do that. Yeah. Okay. What else? Do we go to the table and change it from the table? Table, you mean our data source or? Uh... Yeah, the data source. But funny thing, it's not even showing in the in the data source. Yeah, yeah, it was not here because we just created it, right? It's a calculated field. Still not sure. Right. Okay. So uh, uh, it's creating it as a calculated field. If we can create it as a parameter. Uh, rank rank as values. parameter. Okay. 
Uh, no, not say. Okay, fine. So, if you look at all these things, right? All the measures here, except profit category. And this is ABC. Okay, what is this? It should have been here. I don't know why it is here, but yes. Rank is in a green color, which means it is a continuous number right now. But actually rank can not be right 4.5. Either it will be third or it will be, I mean, either it will be four or it will be fifth. You getting? Rank will always be a whole number. Yes. Right? So keeping that thing in mind, first of all, I need to convert this into discrete. And as we do it, the color turned into blue. And then let me drag it here. Let's see what happens. This is the second step I'm trying. If it will, it won't happen, then I will do the same thing what Smriti you told earlier. Right? But see here. Now it is not creating visualization. It is showing me the number. You're getting the difference, right? Earlier, it was directly, let me remove profit also. Then also it will stay. But earlier it was creating the visualization. It was showing the chart or related to the number. Yeah. Right? So, I hope it is make, uh, it is clear what I just did, right? We just created this calculated field by putting this formula. And then we converted that continuous field into discrete, right? Now it is showing convert to continuous because it is already discrete. Earlier it was discrete, so we converted this into, earlier it was continuous, so we converted into discrete. Now, let me show you something here. Right now it is showing one one everywhere. We applied it using profit, but it is showing one one everywhere. That doesn't look good to me. We can go ahead and click here, edit table calculation. And let's see that what it is. Uh, okay, let me drag profit also, then only we'll know. Okay, so ideally it should have shown one, two, three basis the profit, sum of profit. So we'll just go ahead and edit the table calculation and we'll see. Now you can see what it is doing. As soon as I, as soon as I select table down, it is showing me one, two, three. Right? One, two, three. They are already in order. It is showing the rank by profit of segment okay now i'll drag state because my problem statement was show states per region by profit so i'll drag state here let me do like this so as soon as we have done state, now the order got disturbed again. Okay, so we need to go back, edit table calculation, and need to see that why it's happening. It's table down, that is fine. And if I just make it particular sort order. So it seems across the table, the rank is just showing that number for a particular state across the table, not in a particular segment, but it is showing that number across the table, right? Which means my, for example, like one, two, I can see one and two rank here. My third rank, I don't know which segment it will, sorry, yeah, which segment it will have. Yeah, it came into under corporates. Sorry, my, requirement was to show regions 
let me replace this segment by region. Okay. But the problem will remain same still. My some of my states will come under central, some of my states will come under east. So the order is order is still not right. We need to look further into this table calculation that how can we correct it. So for that, I'll go ahead, again click on edit table calculation and we'll see, we went through all these options, right? Except this specific dimension. Now this mm -hmm. time, I'm going to click on a specific dimension and what we want, if you see here, as soon as we selected a specific dimension, we can see region and state these two options we had here. It's not showing rank, it will not show this profit, sum of profit, but yes. Under these, we have what is my deepest level and where we want it to restart every time. Smriti, to your question, we want to group on some level. Okay, so just think about that logic here. Can we do that using these options available? You were saying that in SQL we put group by and then it gives labels or rank on a particular group. Ah, uh, yes, okay. I think we're gonna see that here. Right? So what yeah. we want, our deepest level to be the state because we want to rank states, but we want to group it by regions. So I want for every region, this ranking should restart, which means if I'm looking at south region, it will start from one and go up to the maximum. As soon as south region will finish, it will pick up another region and start again from one. Right? So, we'll go ahead and click on show table assistance. And as soon as I did that, you might have seen some changes here. Under central region, you can see it starts from one and goes up to 13, that's a max. Under east region, it starts again from one and goes up to 13. And under south, it goes up to 11th and west again, 11th. So I'll just close it here right now and You'll see they are in some order, but again, here the order is different, which means there is an issue of sorting. So we can simply sort our states. Can I just by... sort the rank so that everything? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just sorting it. Okay, so you could have achieved sorting of states by rank field. So that is, I mean, we are very close to what we were supposed to do. Top five states per region by profit. So for what we achieved, we are able to sort all the states by profit in all the regions. The only thing which is left, we need to filter on top five. Okay, so now, uh, bio. I'll now I'll go to your approach. What you were telling earlier, that is part of it. So we'll go ahead and drag state onto filters, okay. and we'll go to top. Over here, I will set top five. We'll select our field called rank. No, I'm doing something wrong. No. So basically, not the state, I need to drag rank onto the filters pane, filters card, because I want to show only top five. Right? We have many numbers in the rank, but I will just select only top five, just five numbers. Something, something is wrong.
I'll try so it right. is like uh, it is like uh, adding a having clause right instead of adding a exactly uh, where clause. yes so none one two three four five okay because this is a table calculation right it has a lot of problems you might have just noticed right because rank is a table calculation so what happens okay. now this this rank field and this rank will have a different you know behaviors so you just start right as soon as i drag this you were having you know numbers up to 49 right this is the rank field which i dragged from measures but if you take this rank by pressing control just put it here over here you have only up to 14 okay. you're getting the difference right yes uh bio is it i know it is confusing but try to understand the difference why it is different i can tell you because this rank we edited this table calculation for this particular visualization right but if we drag this rank it is going to have exactly the fresh view so because it is fresh it shows whole lot of number but this has been customized as per my so that's why it is showing only very few values what we need for our you know purpose because in my view we have maximum of 14 values 14th as a maximum value here so you can see this was the 14th as a maximum value other than we have either 11 13 or 12 yeah so that's why over here it shows maximum as 14 so we can say none and then we can select only top 5 and say apply so it will show top 5 states in each region and every time the ranking will start from 1 and end will 5 so that i can just convert this into my visualization here we go right now there could be okay it has already gone uh, what i wanted to kind of cover another use case but as i change this visualization my rank field has already gone so that's fine it it came on the color but do you understood the complete process it was it was confusing but that is what is required yes sir okay. so they can we assign a different name to the table calculator the rank field because you have a rank in our data set and here again we are keeping it as rank so uh okay you want to know whether we can change this name or not let me see let me see if it is possible i don't see because this is basis on this particular field only right yeah when we go to that uh, edit table calculation do we have an option there let's see edit table calculation you don't have any name option right okay uh -huh. it's based on that field only because our formula is in this field only right yes, yes. the the formula what we are using but because yeah, it is table uh, calculation maybe, it will maybe we can give it a alias or something so that it is little bit more clear it's not even giving that option yeah <laughs> see um. right it's not there Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll just change this view for a moment. Or uh, no, I'll keep it as it is. We'll go to some others. There is one more use case related to this. So I'll talk about that. Top five states. Okay, I'll drag some of my fields here. Let's say 
I only want to show dimensions. Okay. Dimensions means I can take category. I'll take subcategory. Okay. I have a requirement to show only category and subcategory in my table. You're getting my requirement, right? It's it's a very simple requirement, nothing much. Just I need to show categories and subcategories in my table. Very straightforward requirement. No customization, no other things. No number to be shown. But if you are using W, what happens? We are getting this field here. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Is that the problem? Or how can we get rid of it? Just think about it and tell me. How can we get rid of this A, B, C? Uh, uh... We're looking for sales or profit. Uh, you want me to drag profit over here, right? So what was the question? Question is, as per requirement, I just need to show a table with category and subcategory. So I have dragged those two fields here, but this field is automatically coming. I don't want to show this, so I need to either remove it or hide it. How should I do that? Right, because there would have been similar situation in this particular chart also. If it was in tabular format, right? We had this rank field here. But for if it is a table, there is no use of this rank, right, for users. End users just want to show the top five and their profit. They don't want to see like uh, this is fourth, fifth, or sixth. So keeping that thing in mind, we just need to kind of you know replicate the scenario here. Category and subcategory don't want to see this field. Right click on it, let's see. Exclude. I would not want the profit or sales. We just want to get rid of it. We can add a measure to it and then hide it again. Okay. We can't hear him. The network is bad. Hello, uh, Pio, can you please repeat that? No, oh, I couldn't hear you before. Now, but this well, you are off. Okay, what I was uh, see as a requirement, my requirement is like I don't want to show this column because it is useless in this particular view. 
So any workaround in order to remove it, any workaround right. to hide it. Yeah. I like that along and right click. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Select all. Let's what do click on format. Let's see format. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, let me let me go ahead and uh, try to do some work around in order to hide it. And it's a you know again uh, we get this requirement very frequently. So what we need to do is we can we can drag we can drag same subcategory field on top of it, and we'll, then we will go ahead and do the same steps what uh, Smriti was telling earlier. So, subcategory, I'll put it onto text. What will happen? I'll get the exact values as my subcategory field. Right? Same fields in both the columns. Now, this time, I'll go ahead and click on show header. And this will simply hide my that particular you know column of subcategory so what is happening i do have this information that this field is on to, on on the visualization in the visualization but that particular header has already gone right over here if you wish you can put some alias or some name edit alias sorry this is for the fields I don't think you can put a header here. No, you will not be able to put that header. But yes, this is how you would see your category and subcategory. That ABC will not be there in the picture. Yeah, basically, this is the column which is present now, and the second column we got rid of, right? Yes, yes, yes. So we we yeah, drag the same values. The data, yeah, to maintain the data, we drag the same values for the third column. So don't uh, so we don't lose anything. Correct, correct. Okay, now we covered this rank, we covered this logic. Now let's talk about hierarchy. I mean, we have enough time so that we can cover hierarchies, right? So I'll just go ahead and create one hierarchy. So basically we talked about that Tableau automatically you know, provides hierarchy in few fields. For example, date. For date, it automatically you know, provides hierarchy wherein you can click on plus sign change year into quarter, then quarter into month, and then week or days. So, so that's a default hierarchy what Tableau provides. 
but the similar kind of hierarchy can be created by uh, using some other fields for example in our case we know that we have been using category subcategory and then product names so we know like these fields are related category could be the main set then product name will be sorry subcategory will be subsets and then product will be further subset of subcategories so we can just select all these fields click here and go to hierarchies and create hierarchy so as soon as you click on create hierarchy what would happen it will ask for some name you can choose the same whatever is select click ok or you can simply change it like product hierarchy or products let's say product hierarchy here we go okay and all three things are added under this product hierarchy so what would happen now in case you drag it here onto rows and drag uh, any measure for example profit so automatically now what will happen what will happen like you are getting category because it was the master field here category with the plus sign if you click on this plus sign it will show you next level which is product name and then you can show the further uh, you can click on further plus sign and it will show you subcategory right but yes for for this moment actually order is wrong uh, uh, it should be category subcategory and then product name so we'll go here and select my subcategory and put it above the product name right my order is got corrected now category subcategory and then product name the same thing here because the product name is the last field now now you don't see that plus or minus sign here i'll remove it and you can further click on subcategory so you will see furniture as category then subcategory and then product name as the last field under this category right it's clear yeah okay similarly you can create another hierarchy yeah was there any question yes sir i mean we can uh, do a hierarchy on related fields only right logically related fields you or else it will can... not allow us or... no 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 it will allow you you can create hierarchy on any fields i mean data type should be same even irrespective of data types also you can create but yes no. it should it should have a logical right logical relationship yeah or else no use yeah yeah otherwise it won't make any sense to end users so another uh, yeah another hierarchy which i wanted to create was related to where is region then country city and state so i have selected control and i am kind of i have hold on control and then selecting all the fields you can click right click go to hierarchies you can see that already there is a hierarchy called product hierarchy created if you want you can add in the same hierarchy or if you wish you can create another hierarchy so i will say geo location so this is my new hierarchy you can change the order so order should be first of all country then it should be region then it should be state and city should be the last one so in the same way the way we created this category hierarchy i'll remove it from here drag geo location so you'll see country region because it was the top value first value it is showing that if i click on plus sign it will show me regions if i select uh, click on region it will show me states and further if i click on state it will show me cities so the same measure but yes i am able to see the details on different different levels and we can kind of show that visualize that 
or collapse or expand whichever whatever we want to do right yeah, we, we hmm. didn't apply any filter on united states only right why it is considering that uh, particular country only no, no actually it has only us data okay right in in this data set you have only us data oh that's why <laughs> No, that oh, I thought I was using the previous one. Yeah. Okay. Had it been in you know, multiple countries, it will show those also. So that is this, right? Now, okay. Let me talk about one more thing. We we worked on filters, right? What I want, I want you to kind of create. a scenario wherein if i select okay let me go one by one i'll give this thing later okay uh, right now it is a segment and let's say i want to create segment is there and then i'll take region hmm. okay two things are there no let's say there is a requirement that i want to give user a flexibility if they select segment they should have this view or if they select region they should have this view getting my question yes come again uh, right what i'm trying to say is i don't want user to drag and drop the fields here because see once this workbook is deployed on tableau server or uh, wherever the users will not have flexibility to drag and drop fields right so i want to create some mechanism through which if they select region they should see these values i mean this visualization and if they select let's say at the place of region if they select segment they should see this visualization right now i am dragging these fields right that should not be there if user is working end user is working how can we implement that feature let's say it's a business requirement and they do really don't want you know all the users users to go into development environment right and uh, on the dashboard you know like we have this much of area only wherein we need to put put n number of dashboards reports so yeah on this dashboards n number of reports so we need to play with the real state very you know smartly so that we can put more number of visualizations on one dashboard so i want to utilize two business requirements into one chart do we create a dual this chart uh i didn't get a bio what you're asking do the network is not is going off now i said do we create a not a, a dual as this chart uh you mean dual but in order to have a dual axis you need to have two measures so oh, yeah yeah that's true right dual, in this case yeah i think we can create two uh, two reports one for segment one for uh, region wise and mm -hmm. uh, we pull them into a single dashboard and there we have a filter to choose the suites or something like but two charts right two mm -hmm. sheets you mean in, in this workbook mm -hmm. yeah 
okay uh, we can you know do that like we create two charts one for segment one for uh, region and then depending on selection we can hide or show right this is what you're telling yeah. right yes that is doable we can do that also i'll cover that later on because that was on hiding and showing sheets right that's another approach there is a way simpler than that there is another approach i'll i'll cover that now so having said that i will introduce another component here which is known as parameter okay we have been working on filters now parameter is again work i would say it's not a filter but it works similar to filter in some extents so i'll just go ahead and create click on create parameter this is the screen what you get you can name your parameter i will say here let me name let me say region versus region versus segment over here it asks like what type of values your parameter is going to have is it float integer string, string boolean date or date and time i can select string in this situation current value you can define any current value if you want if you don't do anything nothing will be there then allowable values either you can select all or you can have a list or you can get the values from a particular field existing field okay let's say you want to get all the city names you can just select it it will get all the city names here or you can take any other values whichever you want but in this scenario i'm going to just define okay it's a region uh, region versus segment right i will define two values first i will give as region and second I will give as segment because these are the two values which i want user to see fine now this is the value and this will look like this segment or region you have flexibility that you can keep value as one but display you want as region only right so these type of customization you can do for your work purpose whichever you want to implement for now i will take it as region only and we'll go ahead later on, later on i will show you some places wherein i will take it values as one or two but display as text fine so far it is clear that i have taken two values region and segment it's a string type current value is region if i do okay you will see there is another segment got added here which is parameters and it's same parameter i can click here and will say show parameter control as you do it you will get region versus segment and there are two values you can select either region or you can select as segment Any doubt so far? Oh, no, sir. But we are now here linking it to the uh, original columns, right? How it will know that the region is for country, region, and uh, yeah, segment yeah, is for segment. Yes, I'm coming to that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, till now, till now, whatever steps we have taken, is it uh, clear? Any doubt so far? Yeah, clear. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, Bio, what about you? Any doubts so far? Creating and showing this filter he, uh, parameter here? No, that's clear. Okay, now I'll go ahead and create one calculated field. And we'll say okay, create calculated field. I'll call it similar to my parameter like region versus uh, segment 
and over here I will write if my parameter which is region. So you'll see here all the values and parameters also. So all the values you are able to see. So I will say this is the parameter name, right? You can see as soon as I have put my mouse, it shows source parameters. So in case if you have two fields with the same name, basically two components with the same name, you would know whether it's a filter, parameter, calculated field, what it is. So I'll just select this one and we'll say is equal to region. Then I want to take region. And this is my field coming from my data dimension side. Right? Else show segment. Now you can see segment is here also, segment is here also, and this is also segment. So it says sheet one results. Sample superstore and this. I'm connected to my sheet one data because we had two data connections here. So we are all connected to sheet one right now. So I'll take this segment, not this one. No, oh, this is also sheet one. Yeah. Okay. Out these two are there. Out of this one is superstore and one is sheet one. So I'll select the one which is coming from the sheet one. So either I can select this or I can select this because both are sheet one. And I will end my condition. So this condition is fine, right? If my parameter has a value of region, then show reason, otherwise segment. So I'll say apply and okay. So this is the field which just got added here, region versus segment. And now I'll go ahead and remove this segment from this visualization. I'll put the region versus segment here. It shows central, east, south, and west because my region is selected here. If I say segment, it's going to change that into segments. Same visualization. So they have one doubt. Yeah. Uh, when you are calculating that region versus segment calculated field, how did you get that parameter? Will it show automatically or? Yeah, it will show automatically. See, over here in this calculated field panel, right? It shows all the fields which are there in your, all the objects basically. I would not say fields. It will show you all the objects which are there in this particular window. Um, you need to press any key or something to make that no, no, visible? No. No, no, no. You simply just need to start typing the name. It will automatically show all the objects with that particular character. And then you can select whichever character you want to use. Sorry, whichever object you want to use. Okay. Yeah. Right. And so, as it is a string one, that's why it is taking it under dimension, dimensions. Because earlier we have created a few calculated fields, those are coming under images. I'm still doubtful about this one, why it is coming here, because see what happens, my final field is high or less, right? Which is, yeah, which is a string. Which is string. It should come into this segment, dimensions only, right? So that is what, you know, I'm still doubtful that why it came here, but otherwise, if your result is a string, it will show in dimensions. And if your oh. result is numeric, it will show in measures. Okay. That is okay. the normal behavior, but let's see what create. Okay, high, low are these reserved keywords? High, less. I hope these are not the reserved keywords in Tableau. Oh, Can I just yeah. give higher and lower? Anyway, higher and lower will not be keywords. Higher and lower. Okay. 
Okay, neither I'm able to move it up or transform, create, split, string. <laughs> it's strange, I don't know why. But yes, this is the first time I saw this. Like a particular string field here. Okay, uh, am I still using it somewhere? No, it's not used here. Okay, I'll 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 try to find out why it is showing here. Right? Even I'm the very first time I'm looking at string field into this like this. But yes, to answer to your question, if answer is a string type, it will automatically show here in dimensions. Okay. Okay. But yeah, uh, going back to this implementation, is it clear or uh, do we have any doubts here? Yes, yeah, it is clear. Right. So the steps were involved, like first of all, parameters. Then we created a calculated field. Then we kind of put a con condition in calculated field so that I can join my parameter with that field and then I use that calculated field in the visualization. So same field, two different values, right? Now tell me one thing, because, because I was able to do, because I was able to, you know, I was able to control one particular dimension here using my parameter. If I ask you to show if I select region or geo, where is the field that that particular hierarchy? Yeah. Can we do the same thing in, in hierarchies? I want if I select geolocation in the parameter, I should see a hierarchy of country, region, state and city. And if I select product, I should see category, subcategory and product name. Can we implement that? I think yes, instead of uh, selecting that region and segment, if we can able to select the hierarchies which are created, then actually, that, actually, that's a limitation in W. You don't see these hierarchies in calculated field. So, I go here, edit. Let's say if I say geo, wait, it's not showing that. Or if I say product, it will show you the existing fields, but the hierarchy which we have created as product hierarchy, that's not coming. Then how do you do it? Thoughts. Actually, that's the problem statement which I gave two days back. I wanted you guys to work on it, right? To think about it. How would this be solved? Guys, what happened? Uh, I mean, silence everywhere. Any idea? Huh? What approach we can take here?
can we create yeah. multiple parameters um one at each hierarchy level and we choose the parameters accordingly so that okay we have 20 minutes right uh you tell me i'll do whatever exactly what you will tell tick so um, hmm. you want me to create multiple parameters right yes uh... yeah tell so so you want user to select multiple parameters and then get to that place yeah let's say uh, if they want to see the product details at um, category level then they have to select category or sub category or product name i mean one parameter will be there with all these three uh, list of values and another along with that with and and condition mm -hmm. uh, think it will be and condition uh, with that we'll have another uh, parameter where they will get to select uh, the city state Um, country and region. So total, how many parameters? Total two parameters. And uh, how many calculated fields? I mean, it will. Yeah. Okay. So I would say just think about it ah uh, uh, smriti the reason being we can implement this using one parameter only because for end users for uh, user perspective if you are giving two parameters it will be a little confusing because they might select the first one and on the second they don't select right yeah. so in that case yeah. it will be a little confusing so for end users we should give you know the easiest possible things but in back end we can definitely you know do multiple combination of calculated fields and all so that thing should be there right let's do that i'll i'll implement it but i would expect you also to kind of implement and do the practice right both of you so using the same so it is like the dynamic hierarchy right uh, exactly exactly okay you you are telling me right so i already have this one parameter here created what i will do maybe i can duplicate it will remove this from here right we'll go ahead and edit this one and for this i will say geo versus product and under this i will say let's say one we'll call it geo location for two i will give product right and this time i'll take it as in teacher oh, let me take it as string only see why i'm taking the numbers because while writing conditions it is easy like you just need to type one or two you can type either type the full name that will also work right i mean if you are mentioning value as full name then you need to type full full value or if you are giving one or two you can simply refer refer it by one or two so i just created this parameter and i will go ahead and create calculated fields so i need to create three calculated fields for end users that's not required for end users they just need to select parameters so what i will do here i will say level 1 maybe i will say level 1 and over here i i will say i will say if geo versus product 
is equal to 1 then then uh, for the level 1 what we need to take is let's say region city okay level 1 means the topmost level region okay. yeah or else sorry uh, if it is 1 then region for other thing if it is not region which means it can be oh, sorry if it is not one then it could be the product thing right so in that case i will take category and end so this is my first condition okay i'll say okay okay i'll create the replica of this one more and one more is required at least three levels in the hierarchy so then i will go ahead and work on the second calculated field i will say it as level two my geo product will remain same but at the place of region i will take let's say state and under product for level two i will take subcategory and then okay so for level one and level two are ready for level three i'll go ahead and call it level three and here for geolocation my level three will be city and for under product it would be product name okay so in level one what, what i did i have defined if it is one in my parameter if it is one it will take region as top level or if it is something else then it will take category for level two it will be sit, uh, state and for category it will be subcategory for level three it will be city and here level three would be product name so now i just need to create an hierarchy using these three fields create hierarchy we say custom or dynamic hierarchy dynamic hierarchy right where is that yeah here it is and this time i'll just remove this region from here and drag this dynamic hierarchy okay We'll go ahead and show parameter control. Now, if you see level one, it is showing level one right now. Central, east, south, and west with geolocation. If I select product, it will show subcategories. Fine, fair enough so far. I'll go ahead and click on this level plus sign. It will show me. Okay, over here if you see level 1, level 3 and level 2, let me drag level 2 here, so level 1, level 2, level 3, the sign. Now if you see, it was product, so it is showing furnitures, it means category and then subcategory. Same if I replicate to select the geolocation, it will show me regions and then states. If I click further, it's going to show me cities, which means region, state, city. If I select product, it will show me category, subcategory, and product name. And whatever measure I took, profit by these dimensions. It's a dynamic hierarchy by using calculated fields and parameters, right? Any questions here? We don't see that one and two somewhere in the parameter filter. 
uh, can I go to the geo versus product parameter again? Yeah. Okay, it's display a geo location and product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it will display as this, but in backend the value is one. Okay. And we are using this value to derive uh, the calculated fields, right? Right. Okay. Because it was a string type, that's why I put it in the quotes. Uh -huh. uh, let's say we have uh, different levels of in this region and category, right? We had three uh, regions and three categories, so it was easy. But let's say we have just uh, uh, two hierarchy of uh, region and let's say five or six hierarchy of the product. Mm -hmm. uh, then it will be difficult to manage, right, in that case. Then what it will happen uh, for one which you have all the five fields, it will show all the five values. And uh, for, the, uh, for the hierarchy, which you have only two fields, it will show values in two fields, but other three blank columns will be there. Okay, okay. It will show all five fields, but if values are there, it will show, otherwise it will be blank. Okay, yeah, got it. Right. Okay, Bio, uh, is it uh, any doubts here in dynamic hierarchies? I, when I do when I do my practice, I will know from there. But for now, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Fine. So there, where can we get uh, relevant data sets to practice on? Uh, so I was looking for Team India Cricket, mm -hmm. uh, India Cricket Team data set yesterday to work mm -hmm. on this uh, word cloud and I mean this candle chart and everything. But I could not get those uh, data set actually. Without a proper data set, uh, it is difficult to work on this thing. Okay, I'll share some websites where you can, you know, get the data set, proper data set. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. And yesterday on WhatsApp group, I shared that image. Uh, basically, yeah. the chat type, uh, right? Which yeah, chat yeah. type was uh, in which scenario? Exactly. You got that, right? Yeah, I got that. That, that was really helpful. That's okay. a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And this workbook, I'm going to put it on Google Drive today because we have number of sheets now. So I'll just put it. You can take the reference whenever you want and practice each of these uh, visualizations what we have, right? Yeah. Now while, while saving, uh, until unless you're not deploying it. Okay, let's deploy it on that public. So you need to go to servers. You need to sign in, right? If you are, if you have server, then you need to sign in. If you don't have server, just go to Tableau Public and save to Tableau Public. Okay. I hope I'm logged in. No, I'm not logged in. If I would have logged in, I it will show my name here in the bottom. Right. So I'm not logged in. I need to log in into Tableau Public. It will ask for sign in. So you need to use your details. Okay, 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 okay. I need to create extract of both the data sources first, then only it will go. So extract data because Tableau Public doesn't provide that live connectivity.
Hello? Yes, Lutti. Smithy, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but I see bio getting dropped. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there was some power uh, power cut at my end. I just connected to using hotspot. So okay. that's why you know, I'm still not able to connect my other system where I present from. So I'll just yeah, publish already tomorrow. Already, yeah, 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 so I think that's why you got dropped. So we can continue tomorrow. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So they can give me some website or somewhere where I can find some relevant data sets. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll 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 share that today. Okay, sir. Thank you, Satya. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye.